So if you were wondering how I make rings out of coins, it's a two Swiss francs. Put it in this lovely thing. Make sure it's centered. This is called punch and die set, by the way. This coin's from 1929, though you'll never know that because I'm about to knock that part out. water, uh, table salt, and white vinegar, and a blowtorch that you can buy at Home Depot. And that coin up the hole in. I'm gonna heat it up. I don't know if you can see it, but eventually you get green fire, which is what I've got right now. And now, and if it's silver, this is one of the tests, you should get this cool gray patina. So this is silver. Then another step, take a reamer, plumbers use, and give the inside of this thing a nice smooth edge. I like carving out all the rough stuff from when I hammered a hole in the damn thing. Like so. A little rough on the fingers, but... <sighs> Much better. Smoother. So here's another step. Now we go from a donut Put it in one of these guys here with one of these. Make sure it's level. That looks pretty good. get this slowly but surely becoming a ring so if you keep doing that it goes from a donut to this which is still pretty goofy you put it on a ring stretcher and let's say we want to make a size 8 make sure she's level otherwise you get a crooked ring and this will stretch the metal real slow. Like that. And watch the ring fall. Oh, a little more. So I'm going for a size eight, and I think I've got it mostly there. I'm gonna use Teflon tape to wrap the hell out of it because I'm gonna put it in a compression sleeve in a minute, which is a bunch of metal. I'm gonna use a vise or an arbor press here to slam it down in there, and I want those pretty engravings to stay. So I put it in one of these, just shaped like an ice cream cone on the inside. I put one of these on it to force it into that smaller space. You gotta keep it level. You'll get a really goofy ring. 
And nobody wants that. And here we go. Yikes. Et voilà. A ring. And this is what a size 8 looks like now that we're done. Before I take it to the Dremel, of course. I'm gonna polish it, then I'm gonna age it, then I'm gonna polish it some more. I don't have actual goggles, so I use my fake Clark Kent glasses to uh, protect myself from the little pieces of metal that this throws all over the place. a whole bunch. Make sure that everything that touches the skin is nice and shiny and pretty and clean and smooth. And that's layer one. And the inside looks pretty nice. We'll do that some more. So now that we've polished the hell out of it and it's nice and shiny, I'm gonna undo all that with this hyper toxic stuff that you should probably be wearing gloves to handle. I know. <laughs> and we're gonna make the silver hold. It's literally instantaneous. See? And make it old. And then we're gonna make it new again. Put off the excess, put this guy in a vise, hold it in place, and then polish. I'll show you in a minute. All right, and the moment of truth. Ring mandrel, that's sized. Nice shiny ring. Dropped it right there. I don't know if you can see it. Size eight.